Welcome to the torture room, where all bad servbots go to die! Oh, thank you, Snake. I approve of that torture-laden intro. But yes, this is the torture room, and uh, we will be showing 20 who is the boss here. Do you want to go into a bit more detail, mate? Basically, the torture room unlocks if a servbot's sloth rating or laziness gets to a rating of 4. Ooh, yes it does. Number 20 is just going to spend a lot of time here. <laughs> he seems very excited by this prospect. He doesn't look very excited to me. We're going to be torturing the strategist. Roll up, roll up for the greatest show on earth. Grab your popcorn and watch these servants burn, stab, and be crushed for your entertainment. Well, it is a future world. They've got to get their entertainment somewhere, I guess. Also, we've got to work off like the stress and disappointment of having to get two million more zenny. Exactly. Ten tons. Goddamn. So the way that the torture room works is that you activate the, the spikes with square, uh -huh. you ignite the fire with circle, and then you drop the ten ton weight with X. Uh -huh. And you have 30 minutes to reduce the sloth of the serve bot to zero. 30 minutes? I think you mean 30 seconds, mate. Uh, yeah, I meant 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 minutes is a bit too much for my blood, sorry. Oh, gosh. It's like somebody took, like, their scale electrics track and just thought, how can I make this more sadistic? <laughs> yeah, you damn well better not. And that's the torture room. The only time that this is going to be seen, because no more surf bots are going to be slacking off under my watch. Yeah, damn right. The torture room is, indeed, a great motivator. Okay, what are we doing mission-wise in this part, Snow? We're going to be doing the final bank heist... Uh, not before we give number 30 the Lightinium, so then that way we'll have more energy for the goose stuff. I think we'll need it, because uh, if I know Denise, she will have been prepping for our next visit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did after all say that she would be pu pulling some strings here and there to see if she could uh, get some extra help. Ah, nice. If we're lucky, she may have mastered the choke slam. <laughs> Atomic pile driver. Tombstone! Or the superplex. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it just breaks the entire island. <laughs> and it sinks to the ground. Is this the final bank heist mission? This is the final bank heist mission. Oh, wow. And if they screw this up again, someone's gonna go to the torture room. Hey, you hear that, guys? Now we have an incentive for you not to mess up. This is where we find out Snake has been talking about Denise this entire time. Pretty much the same thing as the other action missions, just take servbots that need to get their brain ratings up. Oh, he's getting ready to bop some fools with the frying pan. Oh, yeah. So, let's see if they screw this up this time. Damn well better not. Well, they'll be hell to pay. <laughs> Somehow, the Gustav is holding on to the other <laughs> bar with its bazooka. Wah, wah, wah. Well, they got closer this time, to be fair. Well, there's nothing over there. At least they tried. Sorry, we didn't know. That is the face of a sociopath who doesn't give a shit about fucking up <laughs> and just wants to annoy Tron. <laughs> kind of wonder if they if that's all their purpose is for. They just exist solely to piss Tronbon off. Alright, mission start. So, this time we're in a different part of town. A town that's closer to the bank. So, we're going to be stealing some riot shields, blowing some more policemen up, and causing a lot of chaos by robbing houses and blowing them up. <laughs> well, we're going to have to uh, rob all the houses we can if we're going to pay off that increase in debt. God, Lover's a dickhead. Now, correct me if I'm wrong in this, but I think in this level you have to destroy the buildings in order to progress. Some of them, yes, but there's some other roadblocks in the way that you're going to have to hold up in order to proceed to the level. Damn, man, the bazooka just wrecks everything in a single shot. It is a force of nature to be feared. Speaking of nature, take that, nature. No more trees for you. I'll teach you to be scenic. <laughs> teach you to suck in all our carbon dioxide. Yeah, how dare you give the planet oxygen. Inconsiderate bastards. <laughs> <laughs> T 
So is there anything special we ought to be looking out for in this mission? Because I've noticed green apples have uh, appeared, although I may not have been paying attention to previous parts. Green apples have appeared for a while, but what they do is that they restore your health by a little bit. Ah, okay, do red apples just do nothing then? Red apples are just being be able to be sold for money. Ah, oh, what a bunch of pusses. Yeah, so... We're, I'm not necessarily gonna spend all the time in the world trying to collect as many apples to get two million zenny. <laughs> yeah. Though that'd be kind of fun, though, I'm not gonna lie. Why, if you want that kind of experience, just play any Animal Crossing game ever. Oh, Jesus. Animal Crossing games suck up so much of your time once you get into it. Uh, I can imagine so, though it's an Animal, Cr Animal Crossing's not really that kind of game for me. Seeing how there's like no real end goal of that for me, other than other than just like what it seems to be for me, just paying off a massive amount of death to Tom Nook. Yeah, yeah, it's a sim game. It's teaching you how life works. You pay off debt, and you it's basically just a debt-paying game with a collectathon attached to it. Oh wow, kind of like this game if you think about it. Yeah, kind of. Kind of if you're into diving into the ocean for fish, ra raiding a bookstore of all its porn, or the only difference is if Tom Nook came around here, we could probably blow him up in the bazooka. I'd actually, I actually want to do that now. <laughs> Do you think Tom Nook's ever going to come to Smash as, like, another Animal Crossing representative? Or do you think, like, uh, Rossetti will get there first? I think Rossetti's going to get there first, honestly, if it ever came to that. I'd rather see Rossetti, to be honest, just because how much of an asshole you can be to him. And then, and then be him and beat down assholes. You can be the asshole. You can, like, cause terror in the game. Oh man, there's a lot of police here. How long is this going to go on for? They keep coming and coming until you actually get past this section. They don't actually stop. Yeah, they keep coming out of this police car that keeps going back and forth. What are they doing in there? They're growing them out of test tubes or something? Yeah, they're, they're essentially being cloned one after the other. It's like, we've lost another! Quick, grow some more! <laughs> I'm mildly annoying them. So is there any particular reason why that little carrier thing couldn't come back and pick us up? What, the one that dropped Tron off? Yeah. Well, this well this is a mission. We don't come back until we're forced to. Oh, that's a load of bullshit, and you know it. <laughs> it's probably going through rush hour traffic right now, you know how it is. Yeah, these busy, busy skies. Well, everything's flying these days. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Ah, you gotta give it one of these. Give it the old heave-ho. Yeah, I have to hold one of those cars up in order to proceed through the bridge, and then just lure the other one out to create an opening. And also we have a helibike, or a bike copter. Oh lord, it's a heli chopper! Just gotta pick up the old lamppost here. We're pretty much on our final approach to the bank. I think I just nailed that bike copter with that light post. Pretty sick. Didn't kill him though. That guy's got some uh, durability, that's for sure. He's got some major cojones. I keep wanting to do some jumping bazooka shots, but for, but it's kind of hard to not get hit by that thing if you're trying to take it down. I remember going through this section. It is pretty difficult with a bazooka because it's not your search cannon or the Gustav's Mega Buster. Well, you could switch to the Gatling Gun Snake. You don't always have to use the bazooka. I could, but I like blowing stuff up. Are we ever going to see the Gatling gun? And no. Oh! Sorry, but I have a, a bias with the bazooka, sin since it's made from a, a pipe, and you always have to respect the pipe. Okay, I suppose. I remember when I was going through this section, I just remember just going, you know, screw the police, and just ran through the whole thing, damage be damned, <laughs> and just got to the other side as quickly as possible, because they all disappear as soon as you trigger the cutscene. It'll take you longer to pay off your debt, but uh, <laughs> if you're savvy enough, you can get through without taking that much damage. Wow, this really is a short mission. Yeah, it is. And you get significantly more money for doing it, too. And here we go. All right, Denise, come out. Is that the thing from Alien? It kind of looks like it now that you mention it. <laughs> Sorry, Aliens. This is as far as you get. You're 
Jesus is attempting to revive Rise of the Robots. <laughs> have to admit, it looks very construction-y, but it doesn't really look like that great of a robot to me. It seems very back-heavy. I'm not seeing a single bazooka on there. No, there's no bazooka, therefore it sucks. Well, and she has a pipe. Yeah, but this pipe- but her pipe sucks, so I can't respect it. It's the pipe of disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it on. Strategy, Snake? Just run away. Okay. The Joseph Joestar technique. She just ran into the bank! <laughs> just charging at you. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like, my god now, bitch! Well, I suppose she has to pay off her own debts now, ever since she rented that robot. Yeah, she also ran into a, a bank sign and, and destroyed it. <laughs> the ends justify the means if we can take down the evil Tron Bond family. He's already spent enough money to get this far. <laughs> she destroyed the bank completely! <laughs> well, bye bank, I guess. This is like, oh, you're here for the safe house? Just here, let me just get the door for you. Boom. Whoops, I appear to have destroyed the entire building. Internal Affairs is probably crapping their pants right now with all the complaints from the employees at the bank. Well, if there's any left. But that, it doesn't really look like that big of a bank at all. I mean, they probably all took the day off expecting this. Wow, that explosion sounded rather fart like. Money, money, money! It's the same exact combination. Didn't even bother to change it this time. Oh! I'm unstoppable! No code can stop me! Dial 379! Shut up, Volk. <laughs> a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, and all the way to the right. Seriously, Denise? Pirate? Secretary? More than the serve bots, which is saying quite a bit, considering I don't pay them at all. <laughs> we'll also give you your own tricorn. You'll get a better weapon than a pistol. Or, you know, a robot that throws boxes and wields a pipe. She is totally fired. Okay, we'll see you, bye. Oh well, we got the gold, see you later. Kinda of bad to be feeling sorry for the person that kinda of stopped you, Tron. Good luck, officer. Whatever, at least she has some good in her, at least some good intentions. See you later, Denise. Not gonna see you again for a while. Wow, that's a dark ending for what's supposed to be a heroic character. And she got fired from her job, and everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> Post-mission meeting, give me the deets. Well, we stole some gold and got somebody fired from their job. I call that job done. And she also destroyed the bank for us. Didn't even have to get our hands dirty. Wasn't us this time. And we got another Serbot with grenades. Two of them, actually. We got twin grenadiers here. And we also get loader parts from the police officer's robot. What can that do, then? This lets you change the music for the Gessel shaft. Oh. You have to give it to your serve bot that, that <laughs> does, uh... That you have to give the loader parts to your serve bot that plays music. Okay. What, were you laughing at, like, how's it going, DSP? Yes, yes I was. <laughs> so if you talk to n number 16, you get an ugly handkerchief that unlocks another color scheme for the Gustav. Ah, oh, okay. I've always wanted to have the ugly <laughs> handkerchief skin. You think by Tron's reactions, it had a few dozen bogeys on there as well. Ugh, didn't need that kind of imagery, Volk. Don't, don't even get me started on what kind of color scheme that would create with all the boogies on it. Just like green polka dots or something. What, what are we doing to finish off this part, Snow? We're giving the bottle notes to number 33, so now we can make a better energy bottle. And then, meanwhile, let's give the handkerchief to our painter. Why not, you know? He needs a muse. We need to inspire him. I'm number 35. 
and I'd like to welcome you to this session. Oh gosh. <laughs> he's still bouncing on the bed. Yeah, he's he's not gonna stop smelling the scent of Tron's bed anytime soon. <sighs> Please don't. So creepy, Jesus. <laughs> And we're actually going to change the music just for this part, and it sucks. Sounds like sort of like a tragic version of the original sound, you know, like how in Sonic Unleashed if you get the lowest rank. It's like that really sarcastic looking brass instrument fanfare. It reminds me a bit of do, that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it reminds me a bit of that. So we're just going to spend money on extra energy tanks. Okay. Alright guys, that's it for Tron Bond this week. We'll see you next time when we get into even more debt repayment shenanigans. Bye for now.